Chapter 1 The Seed of Patience Liam was a 20-year-old boy. He loved visiting his grandma every summer. Her house was in a quiet village. Liam liked being there because everything was peaceful. The village had simple houses and everyone knew each other, but this summer was different. Liam was feeling a little sad and worried. Grandma, Liam said one morning while breakfasting, I want to learn English, but it's so hard. I study and study, but I don't understand much. I feel like giving up. He pushed his plate away, feeling frustrated. The words he tried to memorize last night were still confusing. His grandma looked at him with kind eyes and a warm smile. Oh, Liam, she said softly, learning something new can be difficult, but don't worry. Today, I will teach you something very important. She placed her hand gently on his, giving him a comforting touch. Liam was curious. His grandma always had good advice. What is it, grandma? He asked. His grandma stood up and walked over to the window. Come with me to the garden. I have something to show you, she said, opening the door that led outside. Liam followed her, wondering what lessons she had for him. The garden was simple, but it was one of his grandma's favorite places. She spent a lot of time there. They walked to a corner where the soil was ready for planting. His grandma took a small seed out of her pocket. We are going to plant this seed, she said. It's a sunflower seed. It will grow into a big flower if we take good care of it. Liam watched closely as she spoke. The idea of growing something from a tiny seed made him feel a little excited. His grandma dug a small hole in the dirt and placed the seed inside. She covered it with soil and poured a little water on top. This is the first step, Liam, she said, but there's more to do. Liam was excited, but also impatient. Grandma, when will the flower come out? He asked. His grandma smiled. It will take some time, Liam, but every day you will come here and water the seed. You will also make sure it gets enough sunlight. We can't rush it. We have to be patient, she explained. Liam felt a little disappointed. He wanted to see the flower right away. But why does it take so long, Grandma? He asked. His grandma looked at him and said, just like learning English, growing a flower takes time. You can't see what's happening under the soil, but the seed is working hard to grow roots. Without strong roots, the flower can't grow tall. The same is true for you, Liam. You need to build strong roots in English, and that takes time and practice. Liam thought about what his grandma said. He understood a little better, but he still wished it could be faster. The idea of waiting was hard, but he trusted his grandma's wisdom. Chapter 2 The Seed of Learning Every morning, Liam went to the garden with his grandma. He would water the seed and make sure the soil was not too dry. At first, nothing changed. The dirt looked the same, and there was no sign of a flower. Liam started to feel the same way he did about learning English, frustrated and impatient. One day, after watering the seed, Liam sat on a small bench near the garden. Grandma, he said with a sigh, I water the seed every day, but nothing is happening. It's just like my English. I study, but I don't see any improvement. Why is it so hard? He looked down, feeling a bit discouraged. His grandma came over and sat next to him. Liam, she said gently, sometimes we can't see progress right away, but that doesn't mean it's not happening. 
The seed is growing under the soil where we can't see it. One day it will sprout and you will see a tiny green shoot, but you have to keep taking care of it even when you don't see anything. Liam nodded, trying to understand. But what if I'm not good at English, Grandma? What if I never learn? His grandma smiled and took his hand. Liam, you are good at many things, and you can learn English too, but you must believe in yourself and keep trying. Just like the seed, you need time to grow. Don't give up. Her words were calm and they made Liam feel a little better. They continued to care for the seed every day. Liam started to think more about his English lessons. He realized that maybe, just like the seed, his learning was happening even if he couldn't see it yet. This thought gave him some hope. Chapter 3 The First Sprout A week passed and one morning Liam went to the garden as usual, but this time something was different. There, in the patch of dirt, was a tiny green sprout poking out of the soil. Liam's eyes widened with excitement. Grandma, Grandma, he shouted, running back to the house. Come quickly, the seed has sprouted. His grandma followed him to the garden, smiling as she saw the small green shoot. See, Liam, she said, the seed was growing all along. It just needed time. Now it will grow taller and stronger every day. Liam felt a surge of happiness. I didn't think it would happen, but it did. Maybe I can learn English after all, he said, feeling a new sense of hope. His grandma nodded. Yes, Liam, you can. Just like the seed, your English will grow if you keep practicing. You may not see progress every day, but it is happening. The sprout is small now, but soon it will be a big, beautiful flower. Liam looked at the sprout every day after that. It became a symbol of his learning journey. He knew it would take time, but seeing that little green shoot made him believe that his efforts were not wasted. Chapter 4 Patience and Perseverance as the days went by, the little sprout grew taller and taller. Liam continued to water it and make sure it had enough sunlight. He also kept studying English, even when it was difficult. His grandma helped him with his lessons, and little by little, Liam started to understand more words and phrases. One day, Liam was sitting with his grandma practicing some English words. He stumbled over a few, but he didn't feel as frustrated as before. Grandma, he said, learning English is still hard, but I think I'm getting better. His grandma smiled and said, I can see that, Liam. You are doing very well. Remember, just like the sunflower, you need to keep going even when it's hard. Every time you practice, you are getting a little better, even if you don't notice it right away. Liam nodded, feeling proud of himself. He thought about the sunflower in the garden and how it had grown so much. It started as a tiny seed, then a small sprout, and now it was getting taller every day. He realized that he was growing too in his way. Liam began to enjoy his English lessons more. He understood that each new word he learned was like watering the seed. It might not show immediately, but it was making him stronger, just like the sunflower. Chapter five, the flower blooms. One morning, a few weeks later, Liam went to the garden as usual. But when he saw the sunflower, he couldn't believe his eyes. It had grown tall and strong, and at the top, a big bright yellow flower was blooming. The petals were wide open, 
and the centre was full of tiny seeds. Grandma, look! The flower has bloomed! Liam shouted with joy. His grandma came to see the flower, her face glowing with pride. It's beautiful, Liam. You took good care of it, and now it has grown into a wonderful flower. Liam looked at the sunflower and felt a deep sense of accomplishment. It was worth the wait, Grandma, just like you said. His grandma put her arm around him and said, Yes, Liam, and it's the same with your English. You have been working hard and you will keep getting better. Just like this flower, your hard work will bloom into something wonderful. Liam smiled, feeling happy and hopeful. He knew that learning English would take time, but he was ready for the challenge. The sunflower had taught him the importance of patience and hard work. He knew that, just like the flower, his efforts in learning would pay off if he kept going. If you enjoyed this story and found it helpful, make sure you don't miss our next video where we have exciting and engaging stories for you to practice your listening skills.